15 seconds to go. That's the dynamics of a mixed martial arts fight. Those of you watching this on TV, you can't get up and go to the kitchen to grab a beer because when you come back, the fight might be over. Was it enough to win the round for him? No, definitely not enough to win a five minute round with a quick 20 seconds worth of change of momentum, but impressive. And it's gotta be a confidence builder going into round two here. Robert's gotta think, man, I had this guy not just rocked, I had this guy on the ropes. You see this uptick here, I'd like to see it during the replay again. There, Lando wow. flush on the chin. The telling factor of it is not so much that it landed on the chin, it's that it caused Arthur Caesar's head to whip. That whipping motion, that's what causes your brain to rattle against your skull. That's what causes a knockout. Well, you can see there that they're icing his neck. Of course, that's a very common way of cooling a fighter down, but uh, he was stretching his neck in such a way that he may well be in some discomfort there. He doesn't look the most relaxed man I've ever seen. I have to say, already this is an impressive showing for Robert Softman. Win or lose, he can be very, very, very satisfied with his performance so far tonight. And you make a great point, Ray. You know, it could well be that Arthur Cesar won that round, but uh, even though we judge the contest by rounds, let's remember it's a 15-minute contest, and advantages ebb and flow. And coming out of that round, moving into the second round, there'll be uh, a lot of impetus here for Robert Softman to build upon he will be the man who carries the more confidence into the second round. Let's see if he can deliver upon it. North wayward, left and right. Good sprawl, good push out of the clinch there by Softman. You can see that Arthur really wants this fight on the ground. He looks uncomfortable on his feet which is very common with a lot of grapplers. They've spent so much time perfecting their art that they look to get it into where their comfort zone is. And we're right back onto the mat with another takedown. Tothman doing a good job of locking his full guard. What he's doing here is he's trying to keep Arthur Caesar locked up. One of the things about mixed martial arts is if there is no action, they'll stand you back up. You see Arthur Caesar here maintaining that underhook with his right arm. Looks like he's trying to use a pass that Saul Herrero uses quite often. It's called a low hip guard pass, where he steps over and he continues driving over that leg. Now into the half guard. You watch, he's keeping that knee down, driving his leg across. He can go either to side control or to mount here. Nasty angle, that uh, right knee. Yeah, and he's, what he's doing is he's angling it out in between his legs. He's trying to kick that leg free. He can either continue going towards the fence or sliding to the mount, which he just released, noticed. Release the right knee there. It did look very uncomfortable for a time. Now this is going to be a tough position. We've already seen some dynamic ground and pound here from Arthur. As soon as he gets his position, his posture up. And here comes the ground and pound. Left, How many of them are getting through? That's the question. Left, right, left, right. He's making this look like a typewriter tonight, folks. It's over. Not enough punches coming back in return. The ground and pound does it for Arthur Cesar from Brazil, fighting out of Singapore's Evolve Gym. Improves his MMA record to 12 and 4. He's a very happy man. So are his corner men. Good contest while it lasted. Full credit to Robert Sothman for making it so. Ladies and gentlemen, with three minutes and 17 seconds left in round number two, and by way of referee stoppage due to strikes, your winner in the blue corner, Arthur Cesar Gogo! Hey, Let's move it along here, gentlemen.
gentlemen, if we may, we'll just have a chat. We're going to have uh, a translator in here as well. <laughs> Ground and pound was the way you finished it there. You seem to be very comfortable with your man on the canvas. Is that where your strength lies? Na verdade, eu sempre busco o jiu-jitsu, que é o meu forte. E dominei a luta no chão, achei uma posição para bater, que é a famosa chuva de pedra, e acabou a luta. Na realidade, eu sempre busco o jiu-jitsu. I did a little bit of ground and pound, but I was looking for finish. Unfortunately, the ref uh, stopped the fight before, and uh, I'm famous for the chuva de pedra. It means uh, rain of rock, and that's what I did. Rain of rock, I like that. Four consecutive wins now for you in mixed martial arts. What does the future hold for Arthur Cesar? I owe it to the belt. I think you all understood that, ladies and gentlemen. He says he wants the belt from Evolve in Singapore, Arthur Cesar. <laughs>